Okay, so today <clears throat> we are going to be making some zucchini chips to dehydrate using the spiral cutter or the spiralizer. So this is my spiralizer. I just figured he might be uh, good to use because I can't find my mandolin. And I oops, put it on the thing so that it won't cut any holes in the actual um, vegetable. So that's what I want. So that it'll just cut it in basically a big spiral. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your zucchini and I um, used a peeler and skinned it because um, I thought that maybe the skin would be a little tough, but I'm not sure about that. I'm dehydrating it just to check it out. So then what you're gonna wanna do is put it on your spiralizer um, in the middle, you know, make it, um, oh, oops. What you're gonna do first is you're going to want to cut half of it like that, just so that you have kind of a cut to the half so that when it spiralizes it, it's gonna not make it a spiral, but it'll make it into chips. And then we're gonna put it into the spiralizer and just quickly spiralize, <clears throat> in this case, chop it. And then this is just gonna be very quick, even um, little chips so that when we put them on the dehydrator, they'll all dehydrate at the same rate. Then you're gonna take it out and you see that since we put that little slit in it, they come out as nice little chips. Then all you're gonna do is put it on the dehydrating tray, like so. And like I said, I just, I have a small spiralizer so I could only do like half of the um, zucchini at a time, <clears throat> but that's okay. But with doing that just half slice, instead of getting that spiral, you're gonna get nice little medallions. And you can do this with anything. You can do this with your apples or with, um, let's see, I, well, mangoes would be hard because they have such a big seed, but you could do it with half mangoes or whatever. But I've done um, pineapple and apples and then the zucchini chips. And I'm following a low carb keto lifestyle right now. Um, so these are great because you can still get the nice little crunch of a chip without the guilt or the carbs. And then all I do is I take a little bit of Lowry's or seasoned salt, and then usually I do this over the sink, but you just sprinkle just a little bit over top if you want to. I didn't put any oil or anything on it, just that. And then I'm going to put it in my dehydrator, um, for overnight because I like them really crispy. And then what you're going to end up with is you end up getting these uh, chips here and um, they get very crunchy and it's great. So you can see that you can, when you do that, you crunch it in half. Um, they actually give you a nice little crunch. And like I said, this, this one I took the skins off too because I wasn't sure if it was going to be chewy. But I'm dehydrating the skins on the side just to see what's going to happen. So hopefully this was helpful.